the goal of the class is to place vaccine implementation and development and historical perspective and in its social and economic perspective. So it's trying to get us to think about the many things that vaccines do beyond merely inoculating someone. The history of vaccines is virtually always presented as one of unalloyed scientific progress, starting with Edward Jenner and smallpox and moving from success to success to success. But the great man theory of development in any scientific endeavor, as we know, misses a lot about how social relationships are encoded in science and medicine. To stay with Jenner for a second, we could think about his use of experimental subjects. He used his gardener's son to trial his smallpox vaccine, which ultimately ended up with him actually injecting smallpox to see if his vaccine worked. And so there are clear ethical components and the vaccine was then later tested on prisoners. Though Jenner is known as the father of vaccinations, it didn't come from nowhere. He built on social knowledge at the time, which was that milkmaids seemed to be immune to cowpox and other people had noticed that, including milkmaids themselves. Um, and so from there, he was able to isolate, you know, this cowpox from the arms of milkmaids and, and then use it. But it was very much building on social knowledge at the time. And my research is medical mistakes. And there have been a few of those as well. And so to integrate those various dimensions into thinking about the history of vaccines is not to say that it wasn't a success and hasn't been necessary and hasn't been amazing, but that it's a more complicated story. And that's what I wanted to build into the class. I've been so completely impressed with how students have brought their knowledge and understanding and personal experience of this current pandemic to trying to understand the histories of previous pandemics. Humans have gone through quarantines and pandemics for thousands of years. A quarantine's a very old measure. It's Italian for quarantine means 40. That means there's usually 40 day delays. So when new boats would arrive, in different ports around the world, unless they had a bill of health, they would not be allowed to unload their materials. Instead, they had to quarantine themselves for 40 days. This isn't a new phenomenon, us being quarantined. I think it's unprecedented that it's such a global phenomenon. The humans have been isolating themselves for extended periods of time, for very long periods of time. And so I think it was reassuring to be like, oh, society's not gonna collapse, we'll be fine, humans are resilient, and we're going to get through this.